Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a day in my life in Los Angeles. I have felt winter's end and am so looking forward to spring's beginning. And today was one of those days where I sat with myself and thought about what did winter teach me? What did it show me about myself? And what new habits can I bring into spring? Something that came up for me this winter was just how much I spend time in my head and how much that really is not a healthy thing for me. I really focused on being more extroverted than introverted and I feel really grateful because I can see in a way how that made my winter so much more enjoyable and a lot less depressing than they usually are. This spring, I'm looking forward to coming back to myself, enjoying my own energy, my own space, and getting outside, being refreshed, and yeah, thank you for being here today. This spring, I'm really hoping to really nail the idea of being active every single day, whether that means waking up, doing some stretches and going for a walk, waking up, simply getting on my mat for 30 seconds, doing a little meditation and getting off. Whatever it is, I have realized recently just how much of a need it is for me to be active every single day. Because I'm freelance and I don't really work on a schedule, I don't work with other people, I spend a lot of time on my phone doing social media, a lot of time looking at myself for modeling. It's a really shallow space to be in and one that honestly does take a toll on my mental health. And I say this lightly because I am very grateful for the work that I do. I'm grateful to get free clothes, I'm grateful to get to share my life online and get paid for it, but it would be so silly and naive to say that it's, it's not a lonely space to work in. A lot of times I feel like I spend way more time than the average person thinking about what I look like, what my body looks like, what my skin looks like, what my hair looks like. It's so against who I am as a person. I am the type of person who usually doesn't care about any of this. And it's so odd to be in a line of work where I literally have to. Like I get paid to, to care what I look like and to try. And lately that has just really been hard for me. I feel like I've taken the last month away from YouTube and have stepped back a bit from Instagram because I just wanted to come back to understanding why I do what I do for, if that makes sense. I've been letting, spending a lot of time outside, a lot of time detached from my phone, a lot of time just meditating and thinking and welcoming God into my life and asking like, what the heck is the point of all of this? Why do I do what I do? On my walk this morning, I was admiring people's gardens, their front yards, their homes, and I was noticing how there's some people who have homes that are so private. There's others that have lush, amazing gardens in their yards with fruit for others to share and to eat from. And there's people who have open and inviting homes, ones that you would feel so comfortable walking up to and just saying hello. 
I've been trying to figure out what kind of house I am, what kind of person I am, and um, it's an interesting thing for me as someone who's now 27 and have spent most of my life as an open book, I feel suddenly like I don't want to give so much of myself away. Hi! Welcome to this week's video. I just got home from the ceramic studio and I was there for... I was there for five hours, so... That's how my day is going. It started as me being like, oh, I'm just gonna go on a walk and then I'm gonna go to the ceramics for like two hours and I'm gonna go to yoga. And then I started building this freaking tea box that I've been wanting to build for a long time because you guys know I love my tea. And, it, and, and before I knew it, five hours had passed and I was like building it like, oh my God, this is so much more tiring than I thought it would be. But I'm really excited to show you the end product and to see it myself because who knows what it will turn out like. I've never built anything that big. I also picked up a plate that I had done kind of a while back. This was an accidental plate. I basically built this on the wheel. I tried to build like a regular round plate, but then it got all bent, so then I just bent the edges, and then we came up with this. I absolutely hate this color, but I will happily put it in my kitchen for now. A little banana tray. I know I've been missing a couple weeks of videos, and I have footage from like a couple weeks ago, but I just didn't want to use it. It's it's so weird, like vlogging and sharing your life is is such a strange concept because if I wait a week or longer to edit footage of my life, I no longer care to post it because I'm just like I'm not that person anymore. And lately, I feel like that at like an exponential rate. I'm just like looking at my yesterday and I'm like I'm not her anymore. <laughs> So yeah, let's just say I've been growing a lot. I feel like creatively I've been growing and changing a lot to where I'm just every day like, what am I doing? What am I doing this for? Where do I see myself going? What's the plan? Ooh, I don't like that anymore. Ooh, I like this. And just, it's healthy to grow like this. I think it just is funny like being online every single day, my, my mind is like, no, like I don't want to do this anymore. And yeah, it's strange. I feel like in the most, in recent months, I've just been like, I don't even, I don't want to be online. I just want to do modeling and go to ceramics and hang out with my friends and my boyfriend and just like be a person who doesn't think so much about being a person. And I guess that brings me to why I'm just doing a day in my life vlog today because I think it will just be healthier for me right now to just like do a little one-off vlog of like today I'm filming, tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day after that, I don't want to be on camera at all. <laughs> My whole life I've been a dry skin girl, like when I was a kid my parents would literally joke and call me alligator because my skin would get so dry. And growing up I was using everything from like Curel, the Vaseline, like just all these things just never really worked for me. And then also I hated the fact that like after getting out of the shower I'd sit there and like rub lotion on my body, it just drove me crazy. But Hani is so cool because... They have like three different ways to moisturize yourself. This one is called Splash Self and it's like an in shower moisture treatment. This I'll put on if I'm just like feeling extra like, ooh, I have time, I'll just like slap this on. But you literally just rub it on so fast and then you rinse it off and it makes your skin so soft and hydrated. And then these I use on the daily. This is literally just a spray. You spray it on your body rub it in and it has me like as hydrated and like moisturized and my skin is soft as if I were using lotion and taking all the time in the world to rub it into my body. It's really fun working in content because of the amount of products that I get sent and get to try. Before I worked in content creation and social media, I just would literally, I would just run out of stuff all the time, never want to buy it. 
And like I can honestly say, even more than getting free clothes, I appreciate free bath products, free shaving cream and razors and like clean house things. Like those are all things that I literally hate buying by myself and suck at. So very grateful. And same with skincare. I'm just like, how do I know the right things to be using for my skin? And luckily I've been able to try and test out so many things and find out eventually what works really well for me. And then I guess my job is to tell you guys out of them what's my fave. I really enjoy Hailey Bieber's Road Milk Glazing. None of this is an ad. I really enjoy everything Osei Beauty OC. <laughs> Don't really know. I genuinely love the brand Less Official. It's a French, Canadian French brand. Um, Moon Juice Plump Jelly, as you guys know, I have a code Bianca Matisse Taylor for percentage off. Those are all my favorite brands right now. I like jump around in the different things I'll be trying, but these are like my staples. And if you haven't already seen, my skin is so clear right now. We are just so happy about it. filming that I was filming a day in my life and <laughs> I forgot that today is a day in my life I'm supposed to be sharing it's about eight o'clock and I just threw on a hat in this red sweater because my friends are at a bar and I'm going to go meet them for drinks I honestly do not feel like it I feel like I've had like such a calm nice day it's cold out i don't really want to be in that um but i love my friends so i'm gonna do it and like here's the thing that i don't understand you guys like you guys know i i really don't like wearing makeup like it's genuinely the bane of my existence and i just feel like the end of the day like going out for drinks why would anybody want to put on makeup like it blows my mind that people do that and it's like we're in dark lighting but i'm gonna put on a little lip a little lip situation. I already shared this with TikTok, but I found my like go-to lip balm situation that makes me look like I tried when I didn't. And let's see if I'm organized to find this stuff in my bag right now. So this lip is from uh, my friend Sierra's new makeup brand called Boyish Beauty. This is like an all-over stick. You can use it as a blush, a little uh, a lippy, or you can use it as like eyeshadow, whatever you want. I use that as the base. It's super hydrating and moisturizing. I'm kind of super obsessed. And then YSL sent me this candy glaze lip, which is really beautiful. And I don't really know how this looks. Um... Bear with me if it looks bad. This gives it a little like, a little punch. Okay, it's really red right now. And then lastly, Say Beauty's um, Glossy Bounce Lip Gloss, my absolute favorite, which they sent me in every color and I've been slowly moving through the box. No, I've been quickly moving through the box over the past three months. This color is Dream. Putting this over this is such a cute lip it's kind of a lot because i'm wearing red right now and like my lips are red this makes me feel like i did something like i tried you know <sighs> i 
I feel like my life is just a series of my friends begging me to go out in public and me wanting to stay at home, me begging them to come over to my house, and then remembering that the parking in my neighborhood is absolutely awful, and so on. The older I get, the less important it's become to me to have this greater, larger sense of being known, whether that's by social media, whether it's by just, I don't know, like having a ton of friends or people in my city who know who I am. This winter I've really been enjoying it. being within myself and coming back to like, just me as a child, what was important to me? It was important to me to have a small group of friends, to have good relationships with my family, to have a healthy sense of well-being and fun and play and exercise and I've been missing, as I get older, the sensation of life being so simple. So as winter has ended and we're entering into spring, I've really enjoyed coming back down to a place of groundedness of what do I want, what do I need, what do I like, what serves me, what no longer brings me joy, or what did I think that I needed that was maybe rooted in shallow belief systems. I'm excited for spring. I'm excited for spring videos. And thank you so much for watching this one, for hearing my thoughts. I hope that you are enjoying your spring solstice. Bye.